Hi girls and welcome back to the 100 rep six pack abs 30 day challenge. We are on day 28, we're gonna be doing slimnastics. Sounds kind of fun, right? Okay, you're gonna be in a straddle position here. So two legs are out um, and we're going to place our hands over the leg and you're going to lift that leg up. <laughs> I know, lift and lift. So we've done this before with the legs parallel and now we're gonna do it um, in a straddle like this, okay? So um, I guess I could actually face you and do this. So you just wanna make sure that when you're doing this that you're not rocking back. So let me actually go back. So you don't wanna be like this, right? This is basically just a teeter-totter and that's not the point of the exercise. You wanna sit up tall, really long through the chest, through the spine, feel really long all the way through the spine and then from there, you lift the leg up, okay? So yes, it's gonna be working a lot of the hip flexors and the quads. This is how you get the full pelvic area to strengthen up, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Don't worry, we're doing 50 on each side. Oh my gosh, that would be insane if we did 100 on each leg. Thank God I am not that crazy, <laughs> okay? All right, here we go, let's get started and let's lift up and up. So you do use your hands here. I got it get like straight. Okay, so you do use your hands. And I have super long legs and at least I tell myself that's why it's so challenging for myself. But it really is pretty tough and incorporating this type of lifting action will help not only improve your posture, right? Cuz you got to really straighten out your spine, but again, it's going to improve the strength and the endurance and mobility of your hips as well. So I know this is an old gymnastics type of strengthening exercise that is really, really good to work on. Point those toes. So you point the toes by engaging the quad. Good, we're halfway through. Look at us go. So maybe you've never done these kinds of lifting exercises. So important to be able to lift up your own body weight. I told you these weren't going to be your ordinary crunches in this challenge, right? I designed this to be completely different than anything you have probably ever done before. And r this is what creates change in your body, right? I know a lot of you have said, oh my gosh, I'm seeing my abs for the first time. You're seeing and feeling muscles you never even knew you had. Okay, last five and four, three, two, and one. Okay, one leg down. Another leg to go, you can go ahead and just um, fold forward here. Again, I love just taking advantage of our breaks and work on our flexibility gain. So go ahead and just fold forward. <sighs> nice, big, deep breath in and out. Remember, your breath is what determines your nervous system. And so when you breathe calmly, it allows the body to calm down, which allows you to revamp yourself and get ready for the next side. And you can apply that to anything, right? If you're feeling nervous, stressed, go back to your breath always, okay? Take a few moments to take a few deep breaths. It'll make all the difference in the world. All right, here we go, and up and up, and you'll probably notice you have one side stronger than the other, totally normal. Keep the other leg nice and still. You're gonna even have to like press the heel down a bit as well. So my leg isn't going super high, and try to land softly. I kind of banged my leg down a few times. You do wanna land nice and soft. Good. You can give it a little exhale as the leg comes up. And just enjoy <laughs> the burn. Enjoy it as much as you can. I know that sounds crazy, but it's the practice of becoming one, like the Zen master, right? Becoming one with the pain, the, the discomfort, the struggle. Just knowing that on the other side of this struggle is progress is everything that you are wanting is on the other side of this struggle right now. And it's just a matter of committing to it no matter what. You wanna approach everything with 100% commitment because like I always say, 
and I do believe this, how you do one thing is how you do everything. Good, 10, here we go, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Okay, you can stretch out those hip flexors by coming into a hero's pose, bring those hands back. Just a quick little, oh my gosh, like a little camel pose. You can stay here, bring the elbows down, stretch it out, release the head. And you can stay here as long as you want. Make sure you check in with me and great job. Great job today. Remember that every single time you show up on your mat for one of my workouts, you are getting stronger and more confident every single day. So check in with me using the hashtag StretchyFitAbs. And remember that this entire 30 day challenge is available inside of my StretchyFit app where you can download the videos and watch without Wi Fi. Pretty cool. Plus, there are exclusive workouts, programs, challenges. We've got an amazing community inside of there as well. And I give new workouts every single week. It is amazing. Definitely check that out. The link is in the description box below. So download, you can start your free trial today and I will see you in our next video. Love you so much. Bye.